let me ask y'all this. Do y'all guys ever see yourself settling down with one woman? Marriage or not? Let's, let's take marriage out of it. Just having a girlfriend. I got a girl. Oh, shit. Rim low on my fitted. Dreams so it's been vivid. Uh -huh. I'm just trying to go get it. Catch me right around and I'm ignorant. I'm just rolling. rolling riding, riding. You know, they say you shouldn't kick a man when he's down. But I'm from New York. Where if a man is down, we stomp that motherfucker out. Oh my god! Oh yeah, and Steph, I put my lady on the task and she found your girl's Instagram page. <laughs> you people are so petty. And I know, I said I wouldn't do this anymore, but they just keep giving me free ammo, so I gotta shoot it. I said, do we have a pellet? Huh? Let me ask y'all this. Do y'all guys ever see yourself settling down with one woman? Marriage or not? Let's, let's take marriage out of it. Just having a girlfriend. I got a girl. Oh, you got a girl? Yeah. yeah. You in a monogamous but I, relationship? But, but, I, but I ain't gonna marry her, though. But you, you in a monogamous relationship? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know she watching, bro. Wait. These facial expressions are comedy. You can't hide the fact that they didn't know he had a girl. Check out MJ's. Yeah. I you in a monogamous but I, relationship? But I, but, I, but I ain't gonna marry her, though. But you, you in a monogamous relationship? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know she watching, bro. And here's FitX. Oh, you got a girl, MJ? Yeah. yeah. You in a monogamous but I, relationship? But I, but, I, but I ain't gonna marry her, though. But you, you in a monogamous relationship? Uh, <laughs> okay. You know she watching, bro. And after that, the chat room went crazy. Oh man, how long y'all been dating? How long you been with that girl, MJ? I mean, uh, still for 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 a couple years now. Now look at AMS's expression. Oh, shit. god damn! <laughs> oh man, look at all the oh man, look at all the boys in the chat room crying. Oh my god! So why do I keep coming at Steph? Roll the clips. My consultation client said that he approached this chick that was walking very fast and he tapped her purse he tapped her he tapped her shoulder did he tapped the purse he turned around like what that's one reason why i don't go to approach let me freak that freak that she freaked out what, what are you doing what you doing I, I don't do that one you you told you told your client not to approach because Tapping somebody on the shoulder scared them. If you tap me on the shoulder, you gonna scare me. If you tap my book bag or a woman's purse, they might assume you trying to rob him. That doesn't make any sense, bro. There's a finesse involved when it comes to touching women. Some men have it. I don't. I don't touch women when I try to talk to them. Every chick that I didn't got in my life gave me some sort of... Even the chicks that broke my heart, the chicks that I talked about in my, the girl that broke my heart, they both gave me choosing signals. No choosing signal, no cold approach. I'm not gonna. Hey, I didn't do that. Hell no, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. Mark, I'm over there. Hi. What I look like? That's beta as hell. I ain't doing that. Okay. So it's beta when you cold approach? Well, how does Steph react when he gets choosing signals? And then the other chick, I used to go over to my pop's house. I called him my pop's. And uh, we all be in the basement talking. And we, she'd be in the basement. And she'd just be staring at me. When I'd be talking to, talking to my so-called pop's. About sports, she'd just be staring at me. When I'd be playing a game, she'd just be staring at me. I didn't make the approach then, but I was too scared to make the approach then. I, I slid in the DM. Y'all be pissing me off with this shit. Because, yeah, I didn't keep the receipt where he said he paid for coaching calls with AMS. But he's 23. This is recently. Like, he was afraid to talk to a girl in his house. Giving him choosing signals. But y'all comparing me 
to Steph is gone. Like, how is he giving dating advice? Seriously. But y'all saying he knows what he's talking about, and I don't. I literally started getting girls when I was 13. There's some dudes in the comment section, so... So you mean to tell me you're going to wait for choosing? Nah, I ain't waiting for choosing signals. I'm so cold, she going to give me choosing signals, nigga. Yeah, okay. Sure. 5'6", short guy with muscles is getting choosing signals by everybody. You don't what want the f*** are you talking about? He's got a Napoleon complex. I don't go to the club. I don't pick up chicks at the club. I don't. You see it at the gym, the store, <laughs> in my business events. Why doesn't he pick up girls at the club? Because he has no game. And those choosing signals that he's so cold that he gets, he doesn't get them in the club. Because if you got choosing signals and girls were choosing on you in the club, why wouldn't you go to the club? Do you not like talking to women now? Business events, they be choosing. When you become so cold, the chicks that's eight, nines, and tens will slide in your DMs. First, the, let me tell you a story a chick did at one of my busy events. I went up to the front to speak about how much money I made in the month in my, in my health results. The white lady was some big ass titties staring at me, just staring, staring. Big old, big titties, white lady, hella strapped. I ain't, I, I, I'm, I'm like looking around the room and I look back at her, she's staring at me. Hey, hey I get it, Stefan, you're the center of attention. Of course she's gonna stare at you. But nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. After the event, she was staring at me. I get in my car, she liking all my pictures. She followed me on Instagram. Two days later, she commented on one of my stories and said, You caught my eye. I'm like, what you mean? I asked this woman named Kimmy. Who is this handsome chocolate man here? That is choosing signals. This is laughable. So he got choosing signals because he was the center of attention talking about how much money he made on stage and then still didn't approach this woman. So if she didn't have his Instagram, he wouldn't be talking to this girl. How do y'all not get it? How many choosing signals did he need before he decided to grow up here and actually reach out to her. He didn't. She had to comment and talk to him first. Now look at him sick. I know he about the Earl, but let's get a little personal. I know about his girl. How many of y'all think Steph girl ugly? Leave a comment down below. Cause I gotta be honest with you. She better than a motherfucker. Shout out to Steph for that. Cause she's solid, solid 10. And no, I'm not about to show her face. Like, y'all just gotta take my word for it. But, Steph, you short as a motherfucker. OD sure. She like 5'4. Y'all like the same height. What you gonna do when she put on heels? Bro, I literally would crush you with my wallet. <laughs> you was a little nigga. Who you gonna beat down? You quiet boy. You can't even tear beat down. You ain't gotta say I'm hot. So what? Fuck you. Nigga, I get respect from the rappers you look up to. So, do I care that Steph has a girlfriend? Hell no. I got a lady too. I keep telling y'all, do what makes y'all happy. I did a survey asking my audience what you're looking for when it comes to dating. And it's about 40% that's looking for a girl and then 10% that actually has a girl. So that's about 50%. But for you 40% guys that's looking for girlfriends, the way to get the highest quality woman for you is to actually be able to screen out a bunch of females. How do you screen out these females? You approach a lot of females, you go on a bunch of dates, and when you find that one, you gonna know. So, if you like this video, the video you're gonna wanna watch next is the critique of Alpha Male Strategies, Fidex Felix, MJ Get Right, and Steph is Cole. And I'm out.